passionate about what we're doing over there. We're making tracks. Um, we're pushing clothes. Uh, you know, we're all about that movement. So um, we decided, hey, okay, well, let's not let's, let's go to Ultra Miami. So we went over there, um, did our thing, and how I ran into you at 5 a.m. in the morning was we actually got off the plane <laughs> at, like, midnight, and we ended up going out that night, the first night in Miami. And um, I was just talking to the cashier about Overgold Records. Like, I talked to everybody about Overgold because I, I'm so passionate about what I'm doing over there. And um, I, you were just behind me in the line. So I was like, hey, small world. <laughs> Real talk, real talk, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's what it's about, you know, meeting people, networking, and it's all about that love of music, you know what I mean? I don't care if it's hip-hop, trap, house, techno, it doesn't matter, you know, we bonded over music, and I'm like, man, I'm gonna remember these guys because they was, you know, they was out there for real grinding, and they were serious and passionate about what they do. Real yeah, talk. well, you too. I was like, what, you're from Texas? <laughs> <laughs> right on. Hey, we got to move around. You know what I'm saying? So what's Always. good with you, Rose? I mean, uh, you're the trap queen. So tell us about your movement out there in Anaheim and uh, your sound that you got going on. Yeah, well, pretty much I can't describe my sound. I'm I'm pop. I'm trap. I'm a little bit of punk rock. Um, I, I'm just here. I call myself the trap queen because I'm out here just trapping. I'm mobbing. I'm I'm posting up my stickers everywhere, doing whatever I gotta do, posting whatever music that st uh, style that I feel fits me. Um, so I say I'm trapping. That's my style. <laughs> right on, right on. That's what's up. So, who would you say are the major influences for you? Like when you were growing up, what sound or what artist, you know, really, you know, caught your ear and oh, was like, man. man. Uh, sublime, big time, um, always Gwen Stefani, no doubt. Um, I grew up in the 90s, so, you know, I am, I'm very familiar with, uh, like, all the pop rock bands. I loved Blink-182. I mean, I loved Fall Out Boy. Like, my, my inspirations are, I mean, my influences are so wide, but it's crazy. I feel like I have a little bit of sound of all of that in my music, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, no, 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 I'm feeling you, I feel you on that, and, and I feel the same way, I feel like a lot of my inspiration and the people who I like, they came from the 90s too, I mean, I'm 34, so early 90s hip-hop, and anything that was on MTV at that time, it was cracking, that's when MTV actually played music videos, and it wasn't all about, you know, reality TV, and stuff like that. Yeah, and and nowadays, people, uh, I personally, when I walked into Overgold Records, I went to school... Um, and I was learning the difference between analog and digital, and I didn't really have any of that hands-on experience um, with production. And when I went into the studio, they had a D1600, and um, super old school, and I was like, what, what's this? You know, I, I need the Ableton, I need the Ableton. So, you know, I'm bringing it all back to the 90s. I feel like this is super fresh, and we can bring it back, and I, I'm really excited. Hell yeah, that's what's up. So you're promoting a single called Faded. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that and um, what you were thinking when you were in the studio creating that track? Oh yeah, for sure. Well, I had a lot. I had a last. This last year was pretty rough for me. Um, I was going out, partying, just you know, being twenty-three, and. Uh, I was just faded for too long, and I needed to make more tracks, and I was out, you know, just being being young, and I realized that I got to knuckle down, and, you know, even though I got that Mac 10 and Purple in my purse, like, I, I'm still I'm still the trap queen, and I got to hey. represent, so, <laughs> hey, that's what the song's about. <laughs> right on, right on. So, uh, for all the people out there listening, uh, where can they uh, find uh, more information about you? What's your uh, social media uh Links. Social media, everything you can find on Instagram through Overgold Records. Um, you can also follow us on uh, SoundCloud. It's Overgold Inc. SoundCloud.com. Um, and you can also find us on Twitter, Overgold Inc. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into the song Faded. I'm going to get it uh, cracking for everyone out there. Dallas Fort Worth. We are listening to Rose Gold, and this is her single Faded. You're hearing it here on Trill Talk Radio. Let's go, baby. I 
Trill Talk Radio, you already know what it is. Hey, make sure y'all join the website, Trill Talk Radio. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We own the uh, website at EDMDFW, www.edmdfw.com. Hit the forward slash and radio, and that'll take you to Trill Talk Radio for real. And that's where it's going down at, y'all. Trill Talk Radio, EDMFW, EDMDFW. It is a movement. Fuck with us. You already know. <laughs> 